I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. You know what time it is? We're going to check out the latest summer makeup launches. If you guys want to know if anything interesting, interesting is coming, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, I've been liking dabbling in makeup lately, like you know, trying new things. I'm like, I like it this way, but I kind of like it this way. But also, there are things that I already own, you know, not so much new releases. But you know, it's starting to be a little exciting again. All right, let's see here. First thing I see, Makeup Revolution is collabing with Disney. Okay, we're just we're just in the era of collabs. Now on a Finding Nemo collab uh, collection. It looks like blush and bronzer, no highlighter and bronzer, a lip oil set. Um, Makeup Revolution makes nice products. I feel their eyeshadow palettes where they collab with actual, you know, like uh, influencers, artists, stuff like that, perform better than their um, eyeshadow palettes when they collab with, you know, a corporation like Bratz or stuff like that. And just looking at that palette, I feel like that's what it's giving. But other than that, you know, I feel like if you like Finding Nemo and you want it for that sentimental value, then you'd get this, but I'm gonna keep scrolling. Okay. Now, just after I tried that pink powder from Huda, Danessa wants to launch a pink powder. Uh, available now. So the Evolution powder, remember I tried the yellowy version a couple videos ago? Now comes in a pink shade. And it's Danessa Myrick. Let's see, microfine, lightweight, and translucent powder, flashback free powder that mattifies, blurs, sets, and corrects, minimize the appearance of texture and fine lines using skin blurring technology and light diffusion. $24 in translucent, brightening pink. Absolutely, I'm getting that. Baby, right after I finish filming this video. Absolutely. Um, okay, what's next? What's next? Available now. New Backstage Rosy Glow Blush Shades from Dior. $40 each. I see there's a berry, a cherry, a rosewood, and mahogany. Baby, look at those shades. Especially that one that's like a little more, you know, browner. Absolutely. At least at least two of the ones that I see here. And I've heard really good things about the Dior blushes. Yeah. Available now, One Size Beauty also released their ultimate blurring setting powder in a pink shade, retails for $32. Um, One Size Beauty, I have tried the, either a yellow version or a translucent version. And let me tell you, if you have oily skin, summer is coming, you are trying to prepare for that go ahead and get the one size powder. Now you see how quick I was to say that I'm gonna get that uh, Danessa powder in the pink version. This one size, I'm, it's just, it's a little too matte for me. It's, it's a little too matte for me, but if you like it, I love it. And if you wanna try a pink version, cause I, I think, now I think I know what people were talking about. Cause I remember people saying they couldn't decide if they wanted the one size or the Huda. Um, now that I know the one size comes in a pink shade, and I'm assuming that's what you guys were talking about, I would get the Huda just because Patrick's formula is too mattifying for me. But again, if you have really, really oily skin and you like mattifying all that good stuff, you'll love it. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury has a new Magic Hydrator Mist Radiant Skin Rescue Essence. It just looks like they've got an essence coming out. You know, Charlotte, her skincare really don't miss. I'm intrigued. There's not much said about it and it's coming soon i don't think it's available yet but i'm a treat okay available now makeup by mario soft pop plumping blush veil 30 dollars each a weightless sheer cream blush that is made with hyaluronic acid to hydrate and plump skin with a dewy finish six shades i still need to do that i tried makeup by mario so you don't have to video would i buy one of these yes i would especially like that last dish shade i don't know about the cream blush because i don't know at least the cream blushes i've tried i feel like they don't be doing much, which I feel like also the point is probably for it to be more of a, you know, like your skin, but better type thing. I'm used to like the pigment in the Rare Beauty blushes. So it could just be a mind thing, but I would at least try one of these. Also in this post, L.Y. asked how, it's just the fact that I talk too fast because obviously I meant L.Y.S. 
Um, has a new Lash Confidence Curling and Lengthening Clean Mascara. Retails for 19 dual hairs. You know, I'll always try a little mascara. Um, love mascara for my bottom lashes, make it look all spidery. I did receive this in PR, so you can't really say if I would purchase it or not. But I'll definitely check it out and let you guys know how I like it. See, I knew we couldn't go too many videos about a ColourPop launch. They have a new Mega Palette, Smoking Hot. Includes 30 new shades, burnt reds, rich browns, terracotta, sparkling gold, soft browns, and bronzes. 35 dual hairs. Available now. Very spring, I mean spring, summer palettes. Um, I actually like the colors in this. Y'all know I don't really wear eyeshadow like that anymore. But I feel like this would be a very good, like, everyday, you know, you can wear this to go to work, if you have a special occasion, anything in between. I feel like the colors in this would um, be a really nice everyday eyeshadow palette. Give you options. Okay, new from Chanel. They have face powders. Illuminating face powder in shades warm gold, pearly white, precious coral. There's not really much of a description because it's coming in June. I mean, July. Um, I really do like their loose setting powder. I like a pressed powder. And the colors, I'm trying to figure out. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. We'll see when it launches. New Plum Plump Hyaluronic Gloss Balm from Glow Recipe. Lip balm and a gloss in one. Ultra moisturizing, non-sticky formula deeply hydrates lips and delivers the shine of a gloss with the comfort of a balm. Hyaluronic acid is paired with a nourishing plum blend to create a moisture locking barrier. Naturally smoothing plumping lips. Coming soon. Um, I'm intrigued. You guys have tried the plum plumping moisturizer? Baby, it plumps. Okay, face be looking juicy after you put that on. So if they have formulated that to do that for your lips, this might be something worth checking out. Now, usually, I don't like the type where you gotta dip your finger in there to get it on, but I can always make an exception if it's worth it. So I check this out. Okay, Beyonce just announced she's coming out with her own hair care line. Um, I guess those are like little tester bottles in front of her. Now, I did see people talking about this on Twitter, and it's just, I feel like the community has learned absolutely nothing in you know giving such detailed opinions on something that does not exist yet right like mind you the bottles are in front of her they don't have any names on it so i'm saying i'm assuming like that's the products in front of her but we literally know nothing about this but like we don't know if it's hair products hair hair tools any of that and people have already put out such strong there are actual hair specialists and there's this and, and i'm like y'all do, do y'all wake up and try to have a good day like, do you, do you wake up and say, you know, today is going to be a good day because I want it to be? Because I, how are you angry? You don't even know what it is. Like, what are you, what are you debating over? You know, kind of like the whole, um, Alicia Keys thing where everyone was like, oh no, another celebrity coming in and doing this, that, and third, and she doesn't even wear makeup just for her to come out with, like, skincare. Like, have we learned nothing? Do y'all just like being mad? I don't know what it is. We'll see what it is. And when we see what it is, I'll tell you more. I did not know Hermes made makeup oh but they have a new rose collection which is silky blush features an ultra light pigmented texture enriched with subtle mother of pearl micro particles for a del delicately iridescent finish retails for 83 dollars now it is hermes so keep that in mind before you're like it it makes sense for the brand looking at the blushes um almost $100 for, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Dior. But you know, if you feel like treating yourself and you wanna see what it's about, I'm letting you know they, they are coming out or they've released blush. Oh, what is this? Okay, Hydromaniac Dewy Liquid Blush from Urban, Urban Decay. Long wear liquid blush delivers a rosy glow that plumps cheeks up. Vegan, blendable, and buildable formula infused with kombucha and marula oil. 24 hour long lasting hydration, $22 each. Y'all know I love me some liquid blush. I like the colors that I see here. They had a skin tint that uh, came out with this Hy uh, Hydromaniac collection. It was a little more, well, it's a skin tint, but also, you know, like your skin, but better. So I'm trying to think like, is this going to be like that? Or is it going to get, I mean, the pictures is giving more, you know, like your skin, but better. 
Um, and I prefer more of the, you know, a Juvia's Place Rare Beauty when it comes to liquid blush. But, I, I would check this out. I would check it out. New Light Reflecting Under Eye Brightener from NARS, an advanced makeup skincare hybrid formula that illuminates the under eye area by targeting dark circles and dullness for brightness that lasts up to 24 hours. Retails for $34 hairs. Now, what I found trying different under eye brighteners, like the last one I tried, I believe, was Rare Beauty, um, and I liked it. I like under eye brighteners. I do think they, you know, help brighten your under eye, especially if you do prefer that more, you know, bright, bright. Are they a necessary? No, nothing when it comes to makeup is a necessary, but I like them. So would I check this out? Yes, I would. All right, it is just a summer of blush available now. Luminous Matte Beauty Blush from Gucci. Smooth, playful, multi-use, it can be applied on cheeks and eyes. Adaptable formula of smooth powders and pigments. Buildable, long-lasting, hydrating, 49 dull hairs. From the picture, looking at the shades, I'm gonna scroll on. Available now, new Hydro Blast Finishing Powder from Uma Beauty. A powder that loves your skin as much as you do. An innovative skin blurring ultra fine loose powder powered by skincare ingredients with a unique cooling sensation thanks to 52% water. Uh, in six shades, $39 each. Y'all know I love me setting powder. I like trying setting powders. I've liked most things that I've tried from Ubi. So would I try this? Yes, I would. Just dropped. Milk Makeup just launched their new Kush Brow Shadow Sticks. Cream to powder formula fills instantly for soft, full looking brows. Retails for $24. I usually don't like that type of formula for brow pencils. Um, and honestly, I don't know anything that's going to make me leave the Refi brow pencil. So would I get this? No, but I'm letting you know it's coming out. Available now, Lancome has launched their new and improved Tint Edol Ultra Wear Foundation. Their iconic full coverage natural matte foundation is now better than ever with the thinnest and most breathable formula yet. Um, retails for $57. I don't know if you guys saw uh, the little controversy that they had with this foundation, but there is a content creator, she's mostly on TikTok, and she came out, I guess they sent her a PR package with the foundation, and I want to say she was one of the darkest shades, if not the darkest shade that the foundation comes in. I think it's like 560 somewhere around there and when she got the PR package she realized that a lot of the uh, darker shades had been consolidated into one so a shade that she said she's been using since like she was in middle school or high school she can no longer use because she showed on her face and did not match her anymore now to you know people were battling her on social media saying like that's not anything to complain about get over it you can't have everything catered to you all this stuff blah blah, blah. and of course there were other people on the other side who were like that's wrong you know especially when these brands you know preach inclusivity and that they want to make sure that uh deeper complexions are included and all that and then you give the options and then slowly as time goes on you take it away that's a problem and then she later came back and i guess you know Lan lancome saw um the conversation they reached out to her they let her know that it was a phase, the, the launches, the shades were being launched as a phase and that her shade would be brought back. I think actually her shade has been brought back. Um, you know, yay, of course, that the shade is brought back, but I'm just, it's a little confusing what you mean by it's a phase because like I said, certain shades were consolidated into one shade. Like I think, you know, 510, 540, and 560 were made into one shade. So if it was phase phases that you were going through where you were going to launch the darker shades later, why would, you see what I'm saying? Like why would some of them be brought into one if you had intentions of keeping those shades? But either way, you know, sometimes bullying works. Um, they have brought the shade back. I have not used that foundation in a good minute. I was intrigued when I saw that it said like it's a, a new thinner, more breathable formula, even though it is a mattifying foundation. So I am still a little curious, but the shades got me a little, uh, because you know, I really didn't have the best shade uh, to begin with. So let me know if you've tried it, what you think about it, is it better than the original? And also y'all know like really is the upgraded version better than the original? So let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up.
today's video. So I feel like I've been talking for a good minute now. So those are the things that are coming out or have been released recently. I feel like this was a better video. You know, definitely an explosion of blush all over the place. I think we're going to start seeing an explosion of pink powder because that's trending right now. But I'm, I, there were things I flat out said, yes, I'm going to go buy that right after I wrap up this video. So that might mean we're moving in a good direction. So I hope seeing this helped you guys want to know what was coming out, what to look forward to. If there's anything that you want me to try out that I did not talk about in this video, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to thumbs up, kind of subscribe to your page bell down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.